Logarithm. You would have heard people call it logs for short. But logs have nothing to do with logarithm. So what's the purpose of logarithm? It tells us how many of one number we can multiply by itself to get another number. For example, how many twos do we multiply to get eight? Two by two by two equals eight. The logarithm is three. Because three twos give you eight. How many fives do we multiply to get six twenty-five? Five by five by five by five will be six twenty-five. The logarithm is four. Log five of six twenty-five is equal to four. Logarithm is another way of writing indices. For example, log base two eight is equal to three. So we can rewrite that as two to the power three. Two q is equal to eight. The next example, log base 5 of 625 is equal to 4. So we can rewrite that as 5 to the power 4 is equal to 625. Let's do these two examples. Log base 2, 64 is equal to what? And log base 7, 49 is equal to what? So we know that 2 to the power of something will give 64. So 2 to the power of 6 will give you 64, so the answer is 6. Next, 7. So some power will give you 49, which is 7 squared. So the answer is 2. There are special types of logarithms. There's a common logarithm, which have a base of 10. If you see log written with no base, it is base 10. On the calculator, the log key is to the base 10. Also, logs to the base E are called natural logarithms. Where do we use logarithm in real life? To calculate pH value of water, also, earthquake measured using a Richter scale, which is to the base 10. Also, natural logarithm is used to calculate exponential growth and decay. Laws of a logarithm. Log base A XY is equal to log base A X plus log base a y log base a x divided by y is equal to log base a x minus log base a y log base a x to the power of b is equal to b log base a x log base a, a is equal to 1 and log base a 1 is equal to 0. Remember a is an variable and it could be represented by any number. Once the bases are the same you can use these laws. Let's do the first example, simplify log 2, base 2, 7, plus log base 2, 6. So the bases are the same. Both of them are base 2. So we know once we plus, we can multiply the numbers. So log base 2, 7 multiplied by 6, which is equal to log base 2 of 42. Now I wrote this in brackets, but you don't have to write it in brackets, so I write it as log base 2 of 42. Second example, log base 3, 2x plus 5 minus log base 3, 
x minus 8 equals 1. So we notice that the base are the same for the first two. So we can rewrite this as 2x plus 5 divided by x minus 8. And we can rewrite 1 as log base 3, 3. Now we remove the logs on both sides because both have the same base. So you can remove the logs and write it as 2x plus 5 all over x minus 8 is equal to 3. Now this is a normal equation and we can solve this. So let's multiply 3 by x minus 8. So you get 2x plus 5 is equal to 3x minus 24. We put all the variables on one side, all the numbers on another side. So 5 plus 24 is equal to 3x minus 2x. 5 plus 24 is 29, which is equal to 1x. So x is equal to 29. Example number 3. 8 to the power 3x plus 1 equal to 9. So now, this is an indices question, but we are going to use logs to solve it. So let's take logs on both sides. So we will get log 8 to the power 3x plus 1 is equal to to log 9. We could use the log and put the power 3x plus 1 in front as a coefficient. So 3x plus 1 log 8 is equal to log 9. Let's divide. So 3x, we put in the logs on both on the same side. 3x plus 1 is equal to log 9 divided by log 8. So remember this, all these are to the base 10 because we're not seeing any base. So it's base 10, so we can use our calculator because our calculator have logs at the same base 10. So use the calculator, log 9 divided by log 8 is equal to 1.06. Let's send the 1 on the next side, so it'll be 1.06 minus 1. So 3x is equal to 0 0.06 and x is equal to 0 0.06 divided by 3. So x will be equal to 0 0.02.